how many people can use a trampoline before it breaks. In this video, we're going to look at the types of change that force can cause. So what exactly is force? A force is just a push or pull in a particular direction. Whenever you push or pull something, you're exerting a force onto it. The forces that you exert can cause three things. One, they can change the shape of an object. Two, they can change the speed of an object. And three, a force can change the direction in which something is traveling. If a force changes both the speed and the direction of an object, then we say its velocity has been changed. This is because velocity is a vector quantity that measures both speed and the direction. Changes in shape can mean a variety of things. Objects can be stretched, bent, or compressed. When an object changes shape, we say it's deformed. There are two types of deformation. In elastic deformation, the object returns to its original shape when the force has been removed. In plastic deformation, the material does not turn to its original shape when the force has been removed. This graph shows a force extension curve for deformation. Objects deform elastically until they reach their elastic limit, or yield point. When the elastic limit has been exceeded, objects deform plastically. You know when you stretch your elastic band and it pings back into shape? That's elastic deformation. But when you stretch it too far, and then it doesn't go back to its starting shape, it's now an overstretched, saggy elastic band. That's because we reached its elastic limit or yield point, and the band deforms plastically. And if we stretch it too far, it breaks. That's the rupture point. We can also see the yield point or elastic limit in a classroom by applying extra weight to a spring until the spring doesn't return to its starting shape. So how many people can bounce on a trampoline before it breaks? Well, that depends on the elastic limit of the trampoline. But don't try this at home. No, really, don't ever. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuse School app as well? Until next time.